So the trailer for the American Society of Magical Negroes just dropped. I did a video about it. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch, like, share, comment, interact for the all gay rhythm. And a lot of people are upset about it because they thought it was going to be the quote unquote black Harry Potter and also aren't understanding the magical Negro trope. And I understand some of the upset and confusion and disappointment about this trailer, but let's talk about it. Welcome to my safe gaven. If you look at the official synopsis for the movie, it says the American Society of Magical Negroes is a fresh satirical comedy about a young man, Aaron, who is recruited into a secret society of magical black people who dedicate their lives to a cause of utmost importance, making white people's lives easier. Now, if you look at the key two words from that synopsis, satirical comedy, what is a satire? The use of humor, irony, exaggeration, or ridicule to expose and criticize people's stupidity or vices, particularly in the context of contemporary politics and other topical issues. For those of you that don't know this, and I don't fault people for not knowing this because they don't teach this in schools like they should, but there is a trope in film history with how they depict black people in films called the magical Negro trope. I made a video talking about how Bonnie Bennett from Vampire Diaries fulfills that trope. Michael Clark Duncan, rest in peace, his character John Coffey in the film The Green Mile fulfills that trope. Will Smith's character in The Legend of Bagger Vance fulfills that trope. Many other black characters throughout film and TV history fulfill that trope. The Magical Negro trope is a black character that often shows up to help a white character out of nowhere, often in their times of crisis. And this black character often has an enormous amount of wisdom, experiences moments of clairvoyance, healing, etc., etc. Whoopi Goldberg's character, Oda Mae Brown, is another example of a Magical Negro trope. And this character's entire purpose is to help the white character. They have no real agency of their own. So based on that definition, the American Society of Magical Negro, like, that's literally the trope. Like, they're there to fulfill the trope. Like, that's kind of the point. Now, that doesn't mean the movie's going to be good. The movie could be trash. And honestly, with the trailer, it wasn't what I was expecting. I thought it was going to be a little bit more politically biting and things like that. Like, I really wasn't expecting the romance subplot. And that romance subplot did disappoint me. Especially considering that this movie's supposed to be a satire, it just seems like your regular heterosexual romance subplot. There doesn't seem to be anything subversive about it, but again, it's just the first trailer. So I would say at least on that aspect, they failed. I'm holding out hope that this movie is exactly what I think it is, and it is a biting commentary on the trope, how black people have been portrayed in film history. And then they could also do something smart about the fact that Justice Smith is half white and his character is far. I don't think she's white. I think she's Asian. I'm still holding out hope that this movie, this could be like the comedy version of Get Out. Again, like even look at like Jordan, P speaking of, Key and Peele did do a whole skit talking about the magical Negro trope. I definitely recommend people check that out. And with that said, yes, I would love to see a black HBCU magic school, more black vampires, black witches that aren't in the services of white people and things like that. More epic black fantasy that is something that I want to see, but I also want to see black satire calling out these tropes that we've had to endure for centuries. Like, I want it all. Because I want it all or nothing at all. Anyway, hopefully you made it to the end of this video. Watch, like, share, comment, interact for the all gay